you have started looking at it uh, because as you rightly said, there are various segments of audience that uh, interacting with you and therefore it, it's important for you to look at how to engage with them and what is the most effective measure. But uh, Amitav, as we were discussing earlier, that uh, being a completely uh, traditional retail distribution and uh, sales uh, industry, uh, there is a set pattern with which the, your category has been dealing with consumers and uh, the products were being available and we were comfortable seeing the advertisements in a certain manner. How is it changing for you given that these are the various kinds of matrices that you, today you are looking at if you are started investing in digital? I think we try to break up the measurement matrices of digital into awareness and sales driven. In awareness there is a big challenge in terms of seeing how far the needle on brand awareness is moving. Because if you look at most of the conventional market research surveys or brand tracks, they openly say that ability to move the meter by a traditional ATL investment is much higher than if you were to do a BTL or a digital investment. So I think we have to tune the brand tracks in terms of getting in respondents who are digital savvy or those who transact or browse digitally. Uh, some research companies I know have started specific tracks for digital only. So we need to change the basis of measurement on the awareness side. The sales side again has got its own issues in the terms that we can track direct sales. So if there is a sale which happens on our e-commerce website due to a particular smart SMS sent out or due to a particular banner which has been clicked upon, that much is measurable. Yeah. But suppose a person sees a banner of mine and buys it on a third-party e-commerce portal or makes a physical purchase after having checked the prices and the offer online. There is no way that we can track that today. So that in a way is a bit of a gray area that I see. So th with this challenge Anuradha and Somnath, today there's a lot of agencies and brands sitting together. So in this environment today, how you, what is your demand from the agency, from the digital marketing agency in terms of uh, how they look at your business priorities, business objectives, as well as marketing objectives, and what are they supposed to come back with? Please. Yeah. Uh, as Amitabh was just mentioning, you know, this gray area needs to be uh, clarified from the agency side. Today, what, as a marketeer point of view, you know, we are not very clear. The spend that we are making on digital media and the results that we are getting, whether it is towards creating awareness or whether it is for consideration or whether it is for purchase. There is no clarity as such coming to the marketeer. Okay. So this, what marketeer needs is this clear cut clarity. That's it, nothing else. So um, the agencies that I talk to, I, my biggest ask for them is to know more than I do. And I sometimes find that in this world, and what, what Siddharth was saying, uh, it's, we're all learning. And what I don't like the most is when my pace of learning is higher than theirs. So um, I expect my agencies to be absolutely cutting edge in experimentation, in learning, in knowledge, in understanding what's going on, uh, in the use of digital as a media, as a channel, as um, a way of reaching consumers, and indeed keep their eyes and ears open for disruptions or things that could disrupt the way I do business or the way I, bu I buy media today. That's my first ask. Uh, my second ask is around uh, things that we know we do increasingly efficiently. And it's, uh, uh, it again, um, one of my biggest pain points is the fact that uh, is when, I'm, when say the company I'm uh, working on or the brand I'm working on is not doing some basic marketing efficiently. So it's the same thing, the same principle that I apply to TV. If I want to buy cheapest, I want to buy the best. I want the same principles ap applied in digital. I want to buy cheap when I know what I'm buying. The third thing I asked uh, my agencies to do is to um, take risks. Because I sometimes find, and it's probably linked to what I was saying number one uh, on the first thing, I sometimes find that I am more ready to take the risk with the medium and with the content that I'm uh, generating or, or trying to make than the agency is. I, um, I still find creative agencies 
looking at this medium with skepticism and fear. It's almost like, you know, if the 30 second ad dies, something will happen. So it's almost like we have to take um, a different agency for content where the best creative minds are sitting in really large advertising agencies. And I, re I think, and I really wish that this ecosystem will come together. And wherever it's coming together, on the brands where it's coming together, I think they're creating magic. So um, that's the third. I really wish my creative people, my agency partners, my planning partners would bring more risk to me and push me also to take more risk. And of course, uh, like I said, know much more than me because I don't know anything. <laughs> Super. I think uh, all of you heard that. And uh, that's fantastic opportunity for everyone. Uh, Prasid, I would uh, like you to kind of uh, conclude the conversation. We heard the brand marketeers. Uh, they are talking about uh, accountability. They are talking about benchmarks. They are talking about various parameters between awareness, engagement, and purchase. Uh, depending on what category or what segment they are focusing on, right? Being an online platform, you are playing both the roles. Uh, you are definitely doing your business online, therefore you are using a huge, huge media mix to build that business. At the same time today, all platforms like yours are also partnering brands to give them that experience, that opportunity to experiment how their products or services can get sold online. What would you recommend in terms of the futuristic approach? What are the data points? What are the measurements? How would you recommend a budget allocation or even accountability allocation? Okay, so firstly, I don't think I would <laughs> recommend a budget allocation because like everybody said, uh, I don't think anybody knows the right number. Uh, but uh, at least what I can say is, uh, like Anu was saying earlier, that uh, uh, Digital was known as the medium where you know you could truly measure what exactly happened. There is more uh, accountability to it, and etc. What we are trying to do, trying to do at uh, Flipkart, is uh, building something which really uh, shows accountability, uh, at least from an advertising perspective. So we are building something called a full funnel attribution model, uh, where we are actually able to uh, track. As in, it's not at a sample level; it's at an absolute user level. We are able to track what happens to uh, every single exposure or impression of advertising that happens and how does that change or move the needle in terms of uh, uplifts from, for awareness, consideration, purchase, etc. Uh, the good part is, yes, we have an understanding of the user. The transaction happens within the platform, etc. So we are able to monitor it. Uh, but And we are investing behind something, a model like this, which can actually help marketers, uh, especially marketers who are uh, selling on Flipkart, uh, truly measure where their investments are helping them in terms of moving the needle. Uh, so for example, there are brands which work exclusively with us, and we are able to tell them various things. For example, there are television manufacturers who designed their communication strategy for users of, about features that they have based on what users are searching for. Are they searching for HD, full HD? Are they searching for screen sizes? Are they searching for USB ports on the television? So based on consumer behavior on the platform, we are able to advise manufacturers in terms of what they are able to, what they should be using in, in their communication strategy. Uh, so those are certain things that we are doing. And I think, so that's while that's something that Flipkart is doing, I'm sure there are similar things that other platforms are doing. Uh, and I think that's where the digital world should move, building more accountability, which is what they were known for. Uh, so today, at some point in time, it was just you know impressions, clicks, CTR, etc. Today, we need to move beyond that because there have been a lot of questions asked whether dig can digital build brands? Uh, only videos can build brands was a misnomer. Uh, I think digital has to showcase that it can build brands. And it has to build models which uh, enable accountability. And I think that's where the future is going to be. Fantastic. So I would like, I have been only asking questions to the panel. Uh, anyone from the audience would love to ask questions to the panel? Because I think uh, almost all the panelists have pointed out very specific pointers in their category, in their experiences, what they're working on, what they're experimenting on 
and how they are positively looking at the investments towards the category. So I think it's a very good opportunity for the audience to really ask some of the questions or queries or specific uh, op opinions that they had. Would you like to ask something? Would request you to please raise your hands in case you have a specific question and who you'd like to pose that to on the panel and also please br briefly identify yourself and the company that you are representing. Hi Anuradha, Apoor here from Ahoy, Ahoy Telecom, we are a di digital agency. As you rightly said that marketer goes where consumer goes. But when we approach the marketers, the brand market especially, they have a methodical approach very very, you know, there is, I, I'm not talking about the, all their brands, and especially in US brand, but their methodical approach, traditional approach, the innovative things, the IoT is coming, the VR is coming. So how much you, when you think about the budget allocation or all the things which matters for us, how do you think innovative, the brand and market is must <coughs> include and comprise with the digital agency so they can do the more innovative things in their approach. So for me, this is my observation, ki they should come out from the traditional approach, ki offline marketing hi karna hai. So that's blend of the mix and the good blend of the mixture required for the marketers. So I feel your pain, I totally do. I understand what you mean, but um, I'll tell you the marketer's view. Uh, today as uh, head of marketing of a company which has uh, many brands and, and m many kinds of brands, I get um, approached by, and I'm not kidding, I get cold called by uh, about 100 digital marketing people uh, on a monthly basis. And this is not counting the emails that I get which says, hi, I'm so-and-so, I have this new innovative digital solution. It happens to me when I'm traveling, I feel like a celebrity when I'm in an aircraft and someone says, I know you, can I please sell my digital solution to you? It's happened to me recently on a flight to Goa. I'm, I'm sure it happens to you all the time. Um, you know, the challenge in front of the marketer is to be able to identify the next big thing. And very often we pay a lot of very, uh, you know, erudite people, a lot of good money to be those filters for us. So which is the reason why most of us normally ask our media agencies to do this or our, te uh, you know, our technical agencies or indeed our communication agencies to be these filters. Because what we don't want is because